Yo, what is good, guys? I believe we are live right now. So, welcome everybody. Let me go ahead and get make sure that everything is good. There we go. I think a little signal issue, but let me know if we're good, guys. We were a little glitchy right now. But what is good? It's Micro Monday's time, guys. And if you had a long weekend just as I did, let me know. Let me know what you guys were up to. If you were at ProLine and I saw you, shout out to you guys. That was some dope times. Wish I got to crawl with uh, everybody. You know, but we were all having fun out there. But yeah, we'll definitely ex uh, share our ProLine experience as well as other activities and festivities that went on over the weekend. Screen is frozen. Let me uh, turn off the screen. If it's frozen for you guys, please try and reconnect. And let me know if you guys can hear me, see me good. But there we go. There we go. JK, we're good. All right. Dope. I see that Dirt McGurk already joined. I'm about to send him the invite, guys. AKA Dirty Customs. And there he is, guys. What's up, Mark? What up, Steve? How you doing, brother? Yeah, man. How are you? Hey, we're doing well. Shout out to everybody hopping on. Everybody, how's it going? Everybody's chatting up away already. Great. So, I think we all had a great weekend, guys. I think we just all were busy getting a good crawl session in, whether it's for an hour or three days. I think it was definitely some good times. Mark. Definitely, man. We missed you. Everybody was actually asking about you at ProLine, <laughs> wishing that you could come. But uh, they were saying shout out to Dirty Customs for sure and Derma Girk. Tell them to say what's up. Appreciate y'all. <clears throat> yeah. It was uh, ProLine by the fire, guys, and there was some thick stuff, and they finally catered to the micro scene this year which was huge. It's a huge step in the right direction, guys. We were, I actually went out there Thursday. I uh, got there around Thursday afternoon, set up. The homies were already at their, at their spot, set up, saved me a spot. So we did, uh, you know, set up some canopies, tables, and we did camp out there in oh, tents. Nice. Other guys had had overland rigs and RVs, you name it. Any way you can camp, it was there. But night crawls, guys, definitely the part of the fun times. Everybody's got lights. You don't have lights. There is um, my trick RC out there, as well as some other local guys you can find around the tent spots. And get some lights, but that's super fun and. Mark, I did I did not have time to get to everything just because it was so much to do, as always. Yeah, it looked, it looked pretty chaotic. Very chaotic. The theme was uh, survival. So I basically, I survived ProLine, guys. Just came out of it, <laughs> barely. And li literally survived this time because I actually had some rigs breaking on me. It was a few of the 110 rigs. And, you know, the homies were like, see? That's what you get for spending too much time with the micros. Oh. Don't forget about oh, the big man. ones, you know. <laughs> Only <laughs> which they're right. Man. Guys would say that shit. <laughs> yeah, my buddies. I'm like, come on, man, you gotta get your stuff together. So, while there was some stuff going on, they were more than happy to help me out, get the fix, get what I needed to get done, and. Uh, thankful for that man that's what the rc community is all about anybody was there we had some boys from hawaii shout out to uh the aloha 808 
crew for whoever could make it. I know uh, Met High RC eight hundred eight for you guys that are familiar with him, right. as well as uh you know the, the Cartwheel Kings RC any kind, um, heavy heavy D's RC. So damn, all those guys were there. Yeah, Rad. there's a bunch of guys and uh, RC NorCal. Oh, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of guys. I definitely shout out to uh you know there's the IERC guys, Slow Mo Crawler, Black and Yellow Arrow, IERC of course. There is D Tech out there, has uh some ESCs on hand. You know, you pretty much name it, <laughs> everybody was there. So Dude, it was like a little vacation, kind of taking a break from the phone and just being in the moment, hanging out with the homies and doing RC, you know? So it was pretty cool. It was like a little getaway. But we are back now to reality, and we got all the news to share. But speaking of the <laughs> micro course, Mark, yeah, it was actually a full 100 gates at the uh, at, for the micro course. It was 100 gates. Yeah, it was sponsored by the uh, Micro RC Crawler Club over in Utah. They're out in Utah. So, actually, one of the uh, guys who runs it is a MIAS team driver. His name is Van, Van DeWitt. He was actually out there with his crew and got to meet him. And you can actually check out his uh, MIAS trucks in person, his rippers was pretty cool and, and the mini course i believe was a whole bunch of movie scenes like about a hundred movie scenes from like zombies to like jurassic park i only went uh, i only got to see it i'm so sad i'm not gonna lie i didn't even get to crawl it but everybody yeah, who's been tagging me in the videos i've been trying to share with you guys so if you haven't seen my stories it was some fun it's fun looking trails for the micro little course but everywhere you look mark there's just lines and lines and lines you can go you can go rogue you don't have to participate <laughs> in the trails you're just going dude sending lines everywhere i just want to get out to horsemen and just in general let alone pro line yeah that place was epic dude it's and like going to the moon dude it, it's it's going to be a blast and it's going to be worth it if you can uh, just get that time, save up a little bit, and dude, it's going to be a blast for sure. But speaking of, you know, one step in the direction for the micros, now we had Fury Tech even participating as one of the vendors too. So we have basically yeah. a wow. micro specifics, you know, brand coming out, and they were actually selling the brand new um fms uh fcx 118 is that what it's called uh yeah the fcx 18 yeah fcx 18 so or or whatever actually sorry it's their fury tech rtr is what they were oh, saying fury tech one. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so i don't know what that one's fury, called fury wagon fury wagon all right, they were selling the Fury Wagon, guys, and from what they told me is that nobody has it yet, so this is the fastest way you can get them, and people were picking them up. They were 200 no shipping, no tax, and uh, uh, they had them all right there, as well as a whole assortment of motors, brushless motors, you know, their ESCs and stuff, and they had a few uh, special guests over there and one uh two of them was uh mcqrc so you could see his all his 3d printed accessories for the fms trucks and everything which was, was pretty dope we got to see the boat trailer mark which was pretty oh, yeah. cool and then uh the shop mini rc he was there too you know hanging out with the fury tech crew and uh, if you guys know um ken ken p on facebook that's pretty much the shop mini rc he was uh showing off the uh aluminum mias racing trx4m little 
chassis. So if you guys wanted to see the aluminum in person, he actually had the prototype <laughs> right there in hand. So Mark, awesome. already, he, already he has an offer for $1,000 for that thing. Wow. So there goes to show you these little rippers that, you know, they mimic the, the Vanquish rippers. They'll definitely be start uh, holding some serious value come, you know, a year or down the road already. Double, more than double the price. So. Yeah. Out on the house. house. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Speaking of uh, Cow RC guys, we were out there. If you guys saw me, came over to my little booth area over by the campsite. You would have seen me decked out in uh, the whole cow rc swag on the table full six foot table you guys could get your shine on your clean on try out the products check out the mats and actually my buddies they were actually uh pretty stoked that i brought all the stuff so that way they can see you know the mat sizes and exactly what they kind of want in particular and they're all sold on the carbon series just for the durability of the rubber mold construction and especially you can integrate that uh, magnet mat on there so guys i have not forgotten it's just been a little bit wild of a weekend for me but cow rc is still on dude give them a big shout out because the carbon series mat that i'm talking about could be one of yours probably we'll do it next week so stay tuned i'm gonna post uh, stories this week and uh you guys can see how you guys can take that one home but what i did get to use because it was really dusty out there and i wanted to have a, a truck actually kind of clean for the for the show and shine so as you can see all the, the dust accumulated quite easily there's people romping around outside of the <laughs> of the vent in their trucks but i was actually able to use a new product that's out from cow rc pretty much made uh, blasting down my 110 trucks pretty easy but check this out guys if you guys want something real quick and real easy this is the electric power spray so you can uh fill up your cow rc parts and chassis wash the move clean concentrate it to your liking and it actually has a double button that you can turn it on and off and it has an adjustable nozzle so however much pressure you need mark i'm telling you that was so fun to use it was just like a little easy quick sprayer you know like a mobile car wash. wash dude i made it little video just like it it's pretty funny so stay tuned for that one that oh, yeah. was cool but dude, it was cool other than that um castle guys castle was another one that i wanted to talk about they actually yeah, were out I'm there really really curious about that yeah and where that so came from out of nowhere check this out guys i went over to the castle booth and i was looking around I was looking like I was kind of seeing their new Sidewinder uh, 4, a.k.a. like the little tinier ones that they have now. And a lot of people didn't really see, but they had an actual display stand that said SCX24 Nano Sidewinder. So the Nano Sidewinder, guys, is now coming soon. They showed a sneak peek. Uh, I will share a few details from what I was, you know, shared with uh, Bryce and talk about it. Looks chat, kind yeah. of like this, honestly, but with their own style. They had it separate, as the VTEC has, you know, really nicely tucked with the BEC and the ESC together. But they were showing it separately, so their ESC is a two to three S capable, uh, brushed or brushless, and with the built-in 5.5 uh, volt, you know, one amp or two amp BEC. But then that other little module was the fixed 
uh, 8.4 volt 3 amp BEC. And basically, they said, I kind of said, <laughs> is it going to be silent? And they said, soon it will, will be. So right now, it still has a sound, but they are working on a firmware update to make it silent. And the programming for that is going to be basically the, the same exact way you program your uh, Castle ESC. So, so it's Castle Link capable. Castle, Castle Link capable, and whatever the Castle Sidewinder 4 ESC uh, program features have, it's basically getting exactly that. Hmm. So, so it's not, it's not an AM32 base. I ESC. That's kind of what I asked, and they said it's not. It's hmm. all Castle proprietary, all right. uh, yeah. you know, software. So, guys, if you're still, you know, Castle fan and you love the Sidewinder two, which you know I'm sure we all do, and I'm sure they've been seeing that how popular it's been with the micros lately, that they're finally offering a solid product again. So I'm pretty stoked. You guys stay, stay tuned. Maybe we can uh, get one in the house and take a quicker look at that. That would de definitely be dope. Let me know. T uh, price is definitely to be announced, but expected, guys, is around six weeks. So faster than I thought. And if I did have a uh, video on it, I think it was on my story. But I'll try and get a screenshot again and, uh, you know, share it again <laughs> so you guys can see the size of it. Uh, uh, that's funny. So, Cal Crawler, yeah, dude. Got to have that castle. <laughs> right? Uh, you might as well ask them to sell it right now so you can have the old firmware <laughs> before they update the firmware. <laughs> but, you know, pretty cool <laughs> stuff for everybody. I've, I've been listening to Castle for god damn i don't even know now 12 14 years it doesn't even bother me <laughs> i don't even notice it it's like you tune it out <laughs> uh, uh, it's funny surprisingly mark <laughs> you know there wasn't too many uh tire vendors there or if any besides you know horizon hobby or proline Pro. but even then it's not like they were selling tires on site which you know but you who was selling tires the prior your prior years was pitbull rc and lately we've oh, yeah. been checking out pitbull rc they even though they weren't there but uh it's a good little segue we've spotted pitbull rc guys they've been dropping uh new teaser picks of some new 1.0 treads and I believe they're going to be offering a lot of more of their uh, their lineup down to the 1.0. So right here, Mark, you know, we got, got the tried and true Pitbull Rockers. Oh, yeah, I got mine again. If you guys haven't tried the Pitbull Rockers, they are made with the Alien Compound. These are very sticky. They're soft and throw in some flubs. Are you running V1s or V2s on those? V1. There you go. Put some V1s in there. And here's a tip, too. I color code paint pens. So when I take them off, I don't have to fucking open them up. So yellow is like front, front left. Oh, nice. Yep. That was a very good tip. I think they're going to be coming out with the Rock Beasts, the Growlers, um, oh, whatever, oh, the Mad Dogs. Yeah. A whole bunch of their treads. What do you think? Uh, what do you have your uh, rockers on? I actually don't have mine mounted right now. on right now. Uh, I'm saving those for that Forerunner I'm doing. The 85 Forerunner. B Tech, we can bring a Wii option for the Wii fans. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's funny. B Tech with the service. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna go. 
probably not these rims, but just for a reference, Ooh. it's pretty perfect. Yeah, it's looking good. Well, NSDRC was out there, of course. Had a whole bunch of uh, servos and products at event pricing, guys. If you were in need of some servos, man, you could have got and picked up in person RS100, including the limited edition red and uh, purple and a couple of the blues if you were fast enough. $50. No tax, no shipping. So it was a great deal to come visit the booth and uh, get your truck styled in real, <laughs> real quick. Uh, other than that, man, I was actually working the booth for a bit, so I got to meet a lot of the guys that swung by. I met the uh, guy from who used to be called the Bronco Factory, their shop, and and. Uh, he makes, I guess, racing Ford Broncos, real ones, over here down in San Diego or somewhere. But uh, he bought one of the RS800 uh, limited edition booby ones. Save the boobies. Yeah, just because I saw a pink car on his uh, truck. I said, yo, you need this, my friend. And uh, we just ended up talking, and we actually helped him install it. And he was just telling me how... how uh, He's thankful because he is like he's so busy building real race trucks that he's got his homies usually kind of setting his trucks up. So <laughs> pretty cool. You guys who who uh, know who I'm talking about, he actually had the racing uh, Red Explorer. Have you seen that one? Like a Ford Explorer with a I'm not sure if it was I beams or what something crazy. Well, an RC. No, he's like part of the uh, Terra Crew, oh. I would say. Oh yeah, okay, Terra Terra Crew, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> but, but that was just cool meeting a whole bunch of guys and you know hooking them up if they needed some servos <laughs> or stuff like that. Booty, I'm all about the booty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, Proline was crazy. We'll definitely have to hook it up next next year with uh whoever wants to go let's make it a big uh, micro scene guys it's gonna be bigger and bigger every year if you we already had a specific hundred gate course who knows what we're gonna have probably maybe two courses now or a micro, a, a, micro, a micro city yeah micro scale city the scale city was, was really cool too man it was just a blast but uh there's always not enough time <laughs> seems like it's hard to take it all in huh pretty much like sometimes you poop sometimes you just want to chill at your campsite and relax let the heat pass by right <laughs> yeah so we definitely like to chill 95 out there 95 ain't shit i might put a hoodie on <laughs> <laughs> a mini booby servo that'd be dope that would be pretty cool and uh i've run i've run that i've been wanting to build a pink truck for a while yeah dude there's, 5, now, there's a lot of stuff this. coming out <laughs> uh, if you were at the booth too uh nsdrc had the one of one <laughs> the behemoth servo that thing was like the size of this mias ripper what's eleven thousand ounces <laughs> it was just uh something just to show off, you know, maybe uh, power like a little go-kart or power wheels, all crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, just a, some cool stuff, huge jets or helicopters, who knows. But uh, I did have the Mias Ripper out here this weekend, guys. If you haven't seen the whole setup, here it is, all done up. The little yeah, guy racing, beadlocks, little livery. Right here, finally Came got a good. little cricket printer. Uh, the Jake Concept Scorp Scorpios, man, they were Scorpio's doing the perfect combo. Yeah, they were doing good out there. And funny thing is, is just I did not really get to drive it like on the rocks. I was just at the campsite, going from campsite to campsite to the homies, meeting with uh, uh, 
one time I met with the black and yellow arrow and he met up with me. We both had like little rippers and just taking, <laughs> just mobbing around. So cool. Hell yeah. But definitely I'll have to get some uh, real content of this guys. Just been, I was actually enjoying the bigger trucks, the coyote guys, the coyote guys. This, I'm still calling it. That's, part all, of the that's all I saw you drive so far at Pearl line. I fell in love. Still a micro to me. If they want to call it a 118. Mm. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to we'll start it, building we'll UTBs now. Sub 110. Wait, 118 has to get thrown out completely. It's its own thing. <laughs> just yeah, just right. straight just UTB. Well, no scale number to it. It's a UTB. Yeah. Then we can eliminate was, that conversation. It was actually keeping up and passing some guys. Did you show uh, the, during the those night guys what was crawl. up on that side hill? Yeah. Flubs, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Show them dudes what was up. <laughs> and uh, I'm Tusk, bro. Everybody's all about the ruptures with Tusk in any size. And check this out, Mark. Over at Proline, the Tusks, the J, any J Concepts tire, the Tusks and ruptures, pretty much anybody had yep. were just destroying yep. lines. Like, yeah. People with the cross. Crawlers, the Proline crawlers, and uh, other ones. For some reason, it just not, wasn't working. I've retired my BFG crawlers from Proline. They, they keep getting me down, so I'm sticking with J Concepts. And uh, I'm still a fan of the Comp Spec um, KLRs from Team Hot Six and One Ten. <clears throat> Those tires are amazing. Yeah, but yeah, Tusks, man. I got them on what? I don't even know now. I lost track. <laughs> Two, three, four rigs I can count on right now. And I got brand new ones ready to go whenever. There you go. I'm actually expecting uh, some some of those new tusks. For, there you go. For the bigger oh, yeah. scale. Yeah. Should be coming pretty soon. Uh. After Proline, guys, if you weren't over on the West Coast, the Gauntlet, guys, some homies over here on the, not West Coast, I would say the Mid Coast. Well, no, you said it right. If you weren't on the West Coast, you were oh, okay. in the Midwest. There you go. Thank you, Mark. But the Gauntlet this is what I heard was one of the biggest uh, little events, get togethers, some serious good times. Uh, they it's kind yeah, of a bummer sweet. they do that the same weekend or the same general time frame. Be nice if those two events weren't so close together. I guess there was just a lot of uh, maybe it's just the start of the season, trying to get all the events out. You know, it's a good time for sure. So yeah, yeah but definitely, I I wish you know Flub RC who was trying to make it out to Pro Line too, but. Since they are the both on the same they're, weekend, yeah, and they're right there. I mean, not right there, but they're like a six-hour drive. I think he said, "Yeah." And all those Midwest guys were right there. Oh, we had our guys though, our homies, uh, nine two zero crawlers and RC man nine two zero guys. If you don't follow them, as well as Mister Flub RC himself, he was actually uh, they were all out there at the gauntlet repping and. Some right. great driving by, by the guys. I believe nine two zero and uh, and R uh, C man nine two zero both came with uh, second and third place trophies. So guys, great driving. Did you see the course, Mark? It was a sick little portable trailer, like pop up trailer. I saw what Brandon sent pictures of. Neither one of them are here. Bummer. Yeah. So maybe we can go on to talk about it. There is definitely a lot of tough course for sure. But uh Oh don't uh, worry, we'll talk about those ginormous Endura tires here in a moment. Yeah, right. And then over here we actually had for the mini guys, the U T B eighteen guys, but there's some serious crawlers going on. There was some serious crawling going on. I believe it's called the WRCCA, 
some some world championships, guys. If you like the uh, sporties and MOAs and those huge tire big trucks, that actually went down too. But they have a mini class too, Mark. So yeah, the craziest little eighteen scale, like UTB size, even even smaller to fit the rules. The wheelbase has to be a half inch shorter than a stock UTB eighteen. So crazy stuff over there. Is the, the axles too wide for that then? No, people people run the the axles. They're still in class in uh, spec. Weird. And why make them run a shorter wheelbase? I don't know. I think it's been out for a while that that class. So I think that's how it's always been. But the uh, UTB was never made with that. I guess in mind. No. Um, but might as well we talk about those Endura tires, guys. <laughs> is it gonna become who can make the biggest tire nowadays or what? That shit's fucking stupid. <laughs> I love I love Endura. You guys know I run their tires, and but come on, what was it? Seventy millimeters, seventy mils, guys. Seventy mils. If you need a big tire, we know you guys have been rocking the uh, DJ Crawler tires. DJ Crawlers, their biggest ones come in a size 68 millimeters. But if you just need that extra beef, that extra chunk, that crazy chunk. brick walking, stair walking, micro stomping, like bigger than this, taller than this Mias. Right. I'm just kidding. 70 He's millimeters, though. guys. We're going. We're going big. <laughs> just, you can't. Just there's no way you're gonna be able to turn those things. <laughs> Damn, dude, that is funny. And Jora should have went 69. Yeah, at least right? make it funny, right? Damn, bro. Poor man's portals. Seriously, if you just need, <laughs> if you just need a big tire, you want clearance, dude. These People things are going to dominate. 62 small tires now. Yeah, I feel like 62 is the new normal for a lot of a lot of guys that want to rock the big ones, which, hey, man. Learn, no, how, to hey, drive. No Learn how to drive and find the line. That's all I got to say. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was just saying 70 millimeter tires. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, for even, the guys even that one to one, even the one to one crawlers have backed off on the tire size. It used to be like forty twos and forty fours, and now it's like thirty eights. You know, like I don't know. We have enough tricks up our sleeves that you don't need gigantic tires. Now it would be funny to put it on something ridiculous. Like, okay, you know who's gonna do it? We were kings. He's going to buy them, slam it to the ground, and run those big-ass tires and make it look cool. Well, shout-out if you guys actually pick some up. Who got the 70s? What do you guys plan to do? Do you guys plan to do, like, the uh, the 1.8 super wheels or those big uh, those big wheels you know, that you have that to cut them out? That wouldn't be a bad option if you're going to do something like that, like a buggy chassis, and then do those... Uh, would you say like one seven, one point seven, or whatever they are? Yeah, no, no foams. Because those tires actually work really good. That that tread is nice that they got from That's the me This one, right? Yeah. So I have the, the big size right here. What size is the sixty four? And those look silly. So they want to add another six millimeters on this. Which Does I have those. I have those on my 118th FJ Cruiser, and it's almost comical. Here, I'll, I'll grab it. Okay, so that's a 118 scale, even though it's on a 24 chassis, whatever, whatever scale. Uh, FJ 40, right? And those are the 56 Injura tires. Like traps. Okay. These are the ones Steve's holding his hand. Yeah, those are huge for sure. 
Yeah. Those are already big. big. Okay. Uh, uh, we had uh, one coast leather. He said uh, the new small Andorra tires, but he's saying fifty-eight. That's not small. I mean, I mean that's what that's people call small. Yeah. yeah, like these guys. Look at what we're comparing to small. We we're talking about the rockers, guys. Look at the rockers earlier, and then look at these. <laughs> Look at these Endura tires right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> what you guys like to rock, man? Ain't no disrespect here, but damn. We want some more small tires, at least over here on this side. Yeah, a few big, big options isn't options a bad thing. A bad... But, uh, Gigantor? Gigantor? I am. Uh, you said I'm echoing. I think I am. I think I am. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> or, or, uh, or a quick disconnect, and then I can invite you too. Uh, how about now? How about now? Yeah, you let, let us know. I can't. You don't echo on my side, so we're good, good here. But uh, speaking of that um, new new drop today, guys, there's a new FMS truck. It was the Land Cruiser, the LC80, the FCX118 or FCX18. And we actually have the Land Cruiser body already. That was on the just regular FMS. They had it on straight axles. It wasn't a two-speed, and he, you know, it was an older model. So now they finally brought it back, different colorways, and it had now has portal axles as well as a two-speed transmission. So if you guys are lo looking for that body. Would say that the chassis now has a little bit more capability built into it now that you're going to get two speed and some portals for a little bit more clearance. But let us know what you guys think about the Fury Tech FCX. Mark, what do you think? You got it. Oh, that FMS one. Yeah. Well, it's bugging, well, it's bugging me. Echoing on, on my side. Oh no! How about try and disconnect like the off the live, and then I'll reinvite you. All right, let's give that a go. All right, let's give that a go. All right. What's good? The shop mini. Fury Tech FX one eighteen or FCX x18 oh no wonder they no wonder we're getting confused on those names over here that's a good that's a good uh question guys if you guys were to have to pick what would it be shoo are you testing testing one two what are they with what are they with are you good now huh i don't know it's I don't weird know, it's weird like I talk like I and then I hear myself. Well, I lowered it over here on my end. I don't know. It's fucking Instagram. Instagram. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right. Well. All right. So what we're at, right, so what we're at the FCX. The FCX. Versus the first Fury, Fury Wagon? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let me know what you think, Mark. You know I'm going to pick the Toyota and a hard body over Lexan. Hey, it wasn't me last week. Steve, Steve was the problem with the camera. 
<laughs> I got myself putting myself on mute, if anything. But I know Mark, you're always going to pick the hard body right away, regardless of internals. Honestly, I think that the Fury Wagon is a better buy for what you get. But it's kind of it's kind of the same thing. They they have the same axles, right? So that's based, based off the FCX two. I believe. But you also get that the FX one eighteen is using Hobby Plus portal axles instead of. Oh, FMX. that's what it was. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. It was. You're right. Hobby Plus. But like you said, you get a you brush this set up out of the box for two hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, you can swap if you guys already you want brushless, uh, good ESC, good electronics right out of the box. Yeah. Guess that's what it comes down to. Or you get portals and a, a super cool 80 series Land Cruiser body, and then swap electronics. Just like what we we did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. This, I mean, one's a, this one's a. That's the 24, that's a 24 underneath, there. underneath there. Trill Portal. Trill portal uh, uh, Fury Tech. Tech Mini Komodo. Mini Komodo ESC, ESC. And, uh, and uh, Baz, Baz XL. XL. Six out of. Six out of. Yeah, it definitely five, looks five, sick. Five. Want to see a hard body perform, buddy? Check this thing out. <laughs> oh, hard bodies, hard bodies go hard for sure. Oh, that going is bad, huh? Bad, huh? All right, all right, Steve, take over. Steve, take over. Ooh, all right. Well, we can always just swap, <laughs> unmute and mute, or whatever. Sorry about. The the echoing guys I think definitely that uh, it's pretty good especially if you Umi actually picked up one of those FX 118s he said it's pretty good not bad as stock the servo I believe is still like a stock one SoCal Crawler says it's a hobby plus CR18P so Curious to see if that is the CR18P, I believe, just has brushed internals then, right? Headphones, I'll definitely uh, probably consider using for the next one. I don't have any headphones handy here right now. But if I'm st still getting an echo, I guess just let me know, guys. It's kind of weird. But appreciate you letting, letting me know. So that way, we know what to do for the future. Mark, um, are you going to come in? Are you going to uh, do another LC80 build anytime soon? Another? Or just, or just one? I remember you had that, that red one. Oh, the old katana? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, are you going to use that body for anything? I have that one in storage. That's why I had to buy the other one. Yeah, yeah, we get oh, yeah, the echo yeah, we thing. We, the can, echo thing. we don't need to keep, keep commenting. Um, yeah, I got it right here. With the box that my my camera's on, <laughs> so it's literally right there. <laughs> but it's the officially licensed the gray, silver, whatever you want to call it, uh, Toyota eighty series. <clears throat> Highly detailed, just like your uh, your orange one, right? It is orange, right? I'm not, not tripping. No, that's your. No, that's your. Uh, it's like a tan one. Yeah, tan. There you yeah. go. The orange one, the orange is, your, one is your the extra cab. Yeah, the FX. You know, they 
does. Looks like it sits pretty high. Chance, I was wondering if it's on a, uh, if it's on like a like a Fury Tech flat rail style chassis. I wasn't, didn't get to take a good, good look at it, but I should probably take a look at the specs. I, I personally was hoping that I could see the new uh, SCX24 on display or something like that. And I was curious to see the oil shocks and you know how yes. long. Um, the details and everything. Yes. I'm excited to see that. Definitely in person. And another new drop mark that I've seen over at um, Mofo RC. Have you seen the, his new, I think they're calling them like one ton axles? Yes. Yeah, they look pretty crazy. They look like they are kind of a hybrid of a knock. I wouldn't want to call them knockoffs or anything, but you know, they're similarly designed the worm gear area like a Super 8 axle, and then but not very, as wide. Very similarly, not as wide. yeah, not. Right. Not as wide. They're yeah. about plus yeah. six instead of plus eight, and, oh. and the yeah. knuckles and steering linkage seems to be very similar to a uh, TRX 4M knuckles and C hubs. So, sorry, not the steering linkage, but the C hubs and knuckles. So I'm guessing it's like a blend of a. TRX 4M parts and the Super 8 housing. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so it has and, a lot. It's, and, yo, it's beefier. Yo. Yeah, go for it. Said dude was in an accident and hospitalized on a dirt bike. Oh, no. Sheesh. I didn't see that. Yeah, definitely that. shout out sending some good vibes and prayers to mofo right now guys but you can always probably support i guess he might have to you might have to support him by getting some of those axles but mark if you are like somebody who just puts your axles through the craziest abuse they are beefed up with actually um the actual shafts are the same thickness and size as a trx 4m thread so they're using the m 4.5 wheel nut. oh i didn't catch, oh, that. I didn't catch that yeah so it's bigger that's thread it. like bigger shaft upgrade so that's basically what i'm saying is they somehow <laughs> got the trx 4m parts to fit the worm gear that's kind of what they manufactured it's pretty pretty cool i gotta check that out more thoroughly. thoroughly. Yeah. So they're called the X15s plus 7.5. Appreciate you, M Dub. I know M Dub. He, he's got to have a set. Wonder what he's about to throw it on. M Dub. Would you say they are like TRX 4M C hubs and knuckles? That is pretty cool, man. If you guys are just looking for something super beefy. Super, 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 super beefy. Definitely check those out. And the price point is not too bad. I believe it's, I don't want to lowball it or highball it. I'm just going to say 100 bucks for the set. And you get like brass and everything you need. So shout out MoFo. Hope he's doing good, bro. And I'm glad we can let everybody know that those axles are available. Nice, nice. Yeah. M-Dub has two sets. Go check them out, guys. They're called the uh, X-15s. And let's see. Anything else that has dropped over the past week? Shout it out. Let me know. We actually, we, over here on the site, man, I was trying to get these just in time for ProLine, but uh, I left maybe like like 40 minutes after, I mean, before that, uh, these landed on my doorstep. But 
we actually got some uh, PVC RCS Yoda Happy Yoda Velcro patches, guys. Perfect to slap on if you need a rep or want to throw it on your backpack. And I got a couple of these little pins you can put on your hat or your backpack, take yeah. you on the tra trails. So hit me up and Mark. Blue if he still hey, the, has the patches for me. stuff. Patches. There you go. Got some Umi patches on hand and some stickers. No, no, are you no, yours from Umi? These ones are from, from 786 Patch Maker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so he's definitely a good homie. Uh, definitely check him out. He'll hook you up for sure. Read the comments, dude. That's it. So they use TRX 4M yeah. CVDs yeah. and Knuckles yeah. and C Hubs. So they definitely are the hybrid. Yes. Vicious bodies. Bro. Did not get to go check them out. But what did they have over there? Pitbull Tire Talk? Yeah. You did miss the Pitbull Tire Talk. Check it out. But stay tuned. They're going to have the whole range of uh, the Pitbull tires coming out. Rock Beast, Mad Dogs, uh, Growlers. Mini line. Hold on. Hold on. Man. Built in BSME and rear link riser. Oh, that's dope. Oh, what are your thoughts on the 24 Jeep hard body? Looks like Dirt just has one right there in hand. That, that was that Amazon, Amazon one. one. It was like, it was like 80, 80 bucks, bucks for the whole truck. Oh, nice. Hard by hard by What's your thoughts on it, brother? I'm not much of a Jeep guy, but that's a really nice body. Nice. Build what you want to build, man. Build, man. All right. Vicious bodies, some good-looking Lexan bodies, mostly for the 18s. That's pretty dope. I wonder if for the, uh, is it for the 18s as in uh, TRX 4Ms or also for maybe uh, UTB 18s because I know that's another market that's going to be <laughs> Mark. I know that's another market <laughs> looking, everybody's looking for bodies right now. And we got Flub RC with the sick ass Hilux body. And, uh, you know, guys are using like um, the good J Concepts, uh, Traxxas, E Revo, Lexan body for one option. But we're talking about vicious bodies, vicious bodies, guys. So he's talking about 18s, so probably for uh, anything like a FMS 18 to the FCX to the TRX to even a SCX 24 long wheelbase. So pretty cool. If you guys like the Lexan, still need Lexan, check out Vicious Bodies. Appreciate you, Shop Mini. And dude. If you were to look lucky enough to win something on the raffle, they were having a whole bunch of giveaways. I know of Vicious Bodies. I kept hearing them throwing stuff in there. As well as uh, they had a, a whole bunch of NSDRC servo giveaways in the raffle. That was pretty crazy. Wish you could find one. Yeah. One, yeah, check out Vicious Bodies for sure. So Kyle Crawler, what you so talking about? I think he's talking about a Vicious Bodies maybe. Or that, that hard body Jeep. Well, yeah, yeah. I haven't used it. I haven't used it. <laughs> 
TRX 4M flub RC bodies, yes. Oh, yeah. Cannot, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. cannot beat those SR5 bodies. I'm a hard body guy. X cap. Sure. X cap. And the C10, I believe, is coming soon to the TRX 4M. Stay tuned for that. The pinch C10. Still count. Still count. Shoot me a game, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a link. Send you a link. It's, it's worth buying the whole, uh, the whole uh, truck. Uh, truck. Even though it has, though uh, it has uh, uh, what is it, Phillips head it instead, of head instead of head? Peck head? If I, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, and we also have Mark um, Mias Race. Scene. Can't forget about them, but guys, you already know that they're coming out with the Ripper for the SCX24, the limited run of the aluminum version. But also, what they've been working on for the SCX24, we've mentioned it before, is the Mias Racing Project that they're calling it, and that's based on like their little fun haver, the Bronco design. And they've been showing a little bit more pictures mark and it's looking sick the body is actually going to be like on a hinge or removable and a lot, a lot of details going into the chassis they're looking at probably designing trailing arms for it and they already got the light bars and everything but i know i gotta get one of those fun havers they're gonna be sick it's gonna be a whole, whole new chassis too mark So, so it's not based, based, off, that based one? off that one? Pretty much. Okay. It's not based off okay. of this. It's not just a throw on. It's going to be the chassis plus the body. Pretty much similar to what like Little Guy Racing does with their uh, X Factor chassis. And then they have the uh, aftermarket X Factor bodies that you can put on it. Yes, does do uh, some sponsorships, I believe. You just have to send them an email and, you know, see if they uh, think you get a little application, maybe. I'm not sure. But that would be cool if you guys were looking for somebody. Definitely, I think they're looking for some drivers, too. They've been killing it. A lot of people didn't actually know what these little rippers were over at Proline. So they got a lot of uh, publicity seeing them pretty much everywhere. Everybody who saw one wanted one. And like I said, uh, somebody offered the, uh, for that prototype Mias $1,000 already just for the chassis aluminum one. That's just, it's That's crazy. crazy. <laughs> I know. So would you let it go for 1000 if it was yours, the prototype, number one. I'd probably build a Coyote, coyote UTV with that, with that <laughs> money. Or would you hang on to it and wait till you get 2000 The price is right at the time. You know, you, you know, can always put hands on it. Or you, or you maybe it'll only maybe be 500 next week. Can't guarantee, can't guarantee it's, going, it's up. going up. Yeah. That's true. You got to play the market right. Always always watching it. Oh, the Mias carbon cage. That's pretty cool. I like the... That's kind of similar to uh, like a little buggy setup, if I'm not mistaken. What I've been meaning to do, because I don't have one yet, Mark, and I think it's time... Because I've been uh, at Proline. There was the new IERC for the 110 guys. It's the Merge uh, 6x6 chassis. Oh, shit. So it was a new... Yeah, everybody <laughs> was doing 6x6s. And it looked insane. Just how vertical and steep they can go. Like, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I got the Mias 6x6 six chassis in I, here. I, I feel, I feel like, like I've had that in my, that in my Amazon, Amazon cart for like a, year. for like a year. And now, Mark, they easily 
sell the worm gear for it. The yeah, the pass through uh, gear, pass through gear, and the pass through axle. You can get that through Mofo easily. He sells it already. So imagine a six by six, just already dialed in with like a V Tech. Freaking all J concepts like tusks or something beast. Just <laughs> all super eights or some just something crazy, dude. Straight machine, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna do a Unimog. That was, I think that's I what was we need. Gonna say, what would the body be? It's gonna have to be the Unimog, man. So if you guys know where I can get a flat bed, a wide Unimog, yes, big old flat bed with the even maybe carrying a, a a little SCX24. I'll make That'd you one out of Malta. Let's the bed. bed. <laughs> oh, the balsa wood? Mm-hmm. Then it'll, be light. then it'll be light. Find the, find the cab and, the we'll, cab figure and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Send me some ideas, guys, or what should we do? How should we make some, this? Some six cab, by cab six. over, for cab sure. Over, for sure. And who's gonna be? Who's gonna hop on the six by six build with me? I think everybody's got every a little bit of everything now, but you know we don't have six by sixes. We don't see them a lot. I think, no. I think that would oh, be rare. probably time, guys. Let's mess with one. Seventy millimeter six by six. <laughs> that's a good excuse yeah. to use, good use those tires because you're not gonna be able to turn anyway. So it might as well look so cool. Oh, we'll make it a six-wheel steer. How about there that? You there you go. There we go. Six-wheel steer, six by six, oh, on the ooh. 70 millimeters. I got, I got a great I idea. A great and idea. I'm not going to say it on the slide. slide. Let's see. Let's see. Let's chat. <laughs> what else? Long travel shocks? Just something. Something just not that's double just barrels. Gonna be a barrels. big old fat caterpillar. Nah, you, got, you, need, the you need the big... The new, uh, new Proline uh, Pro big boards, the no longer travel ones. Oh, well, well, guys, stay tuned. We'll open this. I'll share it on my story. You guys can see what it looks like. And I think we're going to get building now because Proline, honestly, you know, if you guys saw the show and shine and you put a truck in there, everybody's a winner, man. But definitely, I'm not sure if the judge just really appreciated the micros that much because dude there were so many sick ass builds for the micros and uh, the winner was like a stock atlas six six by six mark with Lame. the toe boom Lame. well last year so, was that like was the, pirate the pirate ship yeah i mean come on y'all so we need to just show that these micros are insane at pro line Dude, between you and I, we've got top we've ten got covered. Top 10 covered. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. I was actually working at that time at the NSD, so I wasn't able to throw a truck in there. But next year, guys, we're about to do something crazy. But yeah, guys, that was, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff we covered for the show tonight. And, uh... Pro line and wherever you guys are at, having comps, enjoying the weekend, crawling. Dude, hope you guys all had a great weekend. It was a blast over here and appreciate you guys for shouting out some stuff that we might have missed. So thanks guys who shared the uh, Enjora tires as well as, you know, whatever else we covered. I'm already forgetting. But stay tuned tuned because next week well, guys well. cow rc and uh micro mondays we're about to bless you guys one lucky winner with one of the, those sick ass carbon series mats guys when i tell you this is my favorite mat for the anything micro like that's just perfect it's gonna be your daily it's gonna look brand new every time you use it uh thank you guys again all the guys always tuning in Dude, it's always it feels like a never enough time to chat. <laughs> it just goes by. Sorry for any inconveniences, uh, but we do appreciate for those guys who stuck through. If uh, you guys had audio difficulties on your end, we'll make sure we can uh, see what we can do better about that. But next week 
It's always a new week, guys. You know, it's a good one. Hit up Dirty Customs for those paint jobs, guys. He is on fire. He is, guys, when I told you, when I'm telling you I saw the VTech bug in, in, in person, it looks way sicker in person than it does on the picture. So, yeah. clean or dirty, yeah. Thanks, dirty Steve. customs got Steve. you, bros. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a one trick pony, guys. guys. <laughs> but, again, guys, we'll catch you next week and appreciate everybody. Have a great night. Mark, peace.